So I got a new package in the mail. It's this lovely box. Look at this thing. This thing, when I pulled this out I, I in my apartment, I started feeling like uh, maybe I shouldn't be showing people this. Uh, this to me looks like just like, I don't know, some drugs, <laughs> some cocaine. Um, just from the videos that I see on Netflix or whatever, like bricks of cocaine or something packaged like this with this weird, awkward yellow tape. Um, I've never received a package like this. What this is, uh, I want to give a big shout out to Linsoul Audio. Linsoul Audio saw my video and I started dialoguing with them and they decided to honor Tin's T2s or the Tin Audio's warranty on my T2 headphones or IEMs. And they sent me a new pair. At least that's what I'm assuming is in the box. So we'll open the box. I'm gonna spare you the opening of this box um, just in case it's something uh, that it's not supposed to be. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yep, so it was another set of tin T2s. So same box, I have, uh, I've kind of glanced at this. Same thing that um, I unboxed. So you may not see this. I'll just unbox it and see what's going on. There may be some differences, maybe not. Uh, I just tested this cable, just a quick test. And since I've actually been playing Yoshi Horikawa, and excuse me if I've got your name wrong, uh, his new album Spaces, which is absolutely like thumbs up for any audiophile out there that wants to test their headphones um, and or just really likes a mix of music. Like there, I found myself dancing around to one of the songs. It was absolutely beautiful. Lots of different uh, layers within this music. So really good stuff. He's quite famous for the Bubbles soundtrack. But again, I'll put the, a link in the description or uh, a link to the Spotify uh, Yoshi Horikawa. And again, if I'm pronouncing your name, my, my deepest apologies. Uh, definitely not trying to do that. Uh, anyway, so I did a quick test here, listened to a couple songs. Uh, the ke headphone cable or the, um, uh, the cable here, the MMCX cable, is fine uh, right now. I've wiggled this, I've wiggled these around. I'm not hearing any distortion or anything, so that's much better. Having said that, I had the cable for 24, maybe 40, 48 hours before it started to go. So we'll we'll see if this lasts. Okay, so I've had I've had about a week with these uh, lovely replacement tin um, tin T twos, and the full thing is the replacement: the silicone tips, the earpieces, and the cable. Um, I actually probably had more like a week and a half with these, and I've been carrying them with me in my bag. These are my like dailies as far as I'm walking, listening to podcasts. Um, when I'm sitting at a coffee shop doing a little editing, I've had them in my phone, I've had them in my computer, uh, and I've taken them through the ringer, and the cables have had no problems. So again, big shout out to Linsoul for sending me a replacement set. That's awesome. Um, I really appreciate it. This has been this has been great. So got another package in the mail. I'm assuming this one will be my Yin Yu four core cable, but again, we're gonna open it up and take a look. And I was right. This is my replacement cable. This was sent from AliExpress, the store that I purchased the Tin T2s. Um, I sent them a video. They asked me to send them a video of what was going on with my um, the original cable. And so they said they would send me a replacement. Okay. Oh, nice. Wow, this is actually a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, especially because I have the six core and the six core almost feels identical to this. Um, obviously the six core is a different color than this cable. Hmm, notice in the six core cable, it will say Yin Yu here and it doesn't say Yin Yu. So that's very interesting. And then on the top part here, same idea, white. And then this one is red for right side, but no indication no markings at all on the on the end and it's the same it's actually down here that is yeah so it's got four cables two there two there and then here obviously two and two so i've had about a, a day with the um the new cables and I've had a day, about well, three or four days with the Yin Yu four core. Um, just to give you a heads up, this original pair I've put on the four core, this arrived about a day ago and I've left this just stock just for the reasons of testing it out. Um, I wanted to weigh these cables because my little bit of use with these two and then playing around a little bit with here, I noticed that when I'm wearing the tins with these two cables in the way that I like, which essentially would be just going into the ear, not wrapping around the ear, I'm finding that it's pulling the 
earbuds or the IMEIs, they're coming out of my ear a little bit due to the weight of the cable. So I'd be curious to know which cable is heavier. So here are the six core cables. Let's just put those in the middle. 21.1 grams, 21.1 grams. Okay, there we go, that's them. Here's the four core cable. Twenty two point six grams, a little heavier. And here's the original tin T two cable. And seventeen point one. So we have the lightest cable. We have the second lightest cable. And of course we have the third and the heaviest cable. So my impression overall of this uh, four core cable, not my favorite. It's an okay backup cable, but not my favorite. If I had a choice, I'd choose the six core versus the four core. I am not 100% sure if this is a Yin Yu cable. It's not labeled here Yin Yu, which my six core is, and it's the same length of piece. I can't imagine why Yin Yu wouldn't do that. So I may have got a knockoff, uh, and maybe that's why I'm not a fan of it. Who knows? I got well, that's all I got for you for this video. Uh, it's kind of a mishmash of things all audio related. But uh, to just to recap, uh, thanks again, Linsol, for sending me out a replacement set of Tin T2s. And this cable is perfect, so I appreciate that. Yin Yu wise, I'm not a biggest fan of the Yin Yu 4 core cable if it is a 4 core cable. In fact, I would rather go with a 6 core, which again, both cables are somewhat flawless as far as performance goes. However, I like the weight and I like the look of this one and the feel of it more than I like them. They're around the same price. Sometimes you get one cheaper than the other. If you got any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you like this kind of content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.